today in chemistry we're going to start a new topic which is the more concept and the first thing that we're going to look at it's a more so a more is defined as the quantity of a substance it is defined as the quantity of the substance and the symbol of uh and the symbol of more is mol that's the symbol so a more is defined as the quantity of a substance and the symbol of more is m o l that's the symbol then the next thing that we're going to look at is the avogadro's number it's the avogadro's number or the avogadro's constant So the next thing that we're going to look at is the Avogadro's number or the Avogadro's constant. So the Avogadro's number is given as 6. It's given as a... Six point, given as 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. Let me just write that properly. So it's given as 6.02. 0 2 times 10 to the power 23 so that is the avogadro's number or the avogadro's constant and uh this avogadro's number it was taken from an italian scientist named avogadro but that is not important so we can say that one more of any element contains 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 uh, 23 particles 23 particles and that's the Avogadro's number the next thing that we're going to look at is the molar mass so the next thing that we're going to look at is the molar mass So the molar mass is defined as the mass of one more of atoms of or molecules. So it's the mass of one more of atoms or molecules. And molar mass is represented by capital letter M. Then the units of molar mass are measured in grams per mole. That's the units. So the units are measured in grams per mole. So we can say the units here is uh, grams per mole that's the units and i said that the definition of molar mass is the mass of one more of atoms or molecules and uh, i'm going to give an example now we can find the molar mass for example if you have been told to find the molar mass of oxygen uh, oxygen atom If you have been told to calculate the molar mass of oxygen atom, if you look at the periodic table, the mass number of oxygen, that's 16. So it's 16. So that means that the molar mass of oxygen is 16 gram per mole. That's uh, the molar mass. But if you have been told to find the molar mass of uh oxygen gas so oxygen gas is written as h2 so that means you need to multiply these two by 16 so this means this means that it will be 16 times 2 which is 32 so that means the molar mass of oxygen is 32 gram per mole. Let us look at the other molar mass of other 
atoms and compounds Let us look at the molar mass of water. So H2O. So H2O here we have two elements. We have hydrogen and oxygen. So there are two. We have hydrogen and oxygen. So we can say that hydrogen here it has two atoms. So two multiplied by the mass number of hydrogen that's one. So two multiplied by one that's two. Then we come to oxygen. Oxygen, the number of atoms here is only one. So one multiplied by 16. And this is equal to 16. Then 16 plus 2, that's 18. So that means that the molar mass of uh, water is uh, 18 gram per mole. Then the other thing that I need to talk about is uh, the molar mass of carbon dioxide which, which is CO2. So here the number of atoms of carbon here is 1, 1 multiplied by the mass number. So if you check on the periodic table the mass number of carbon that's 12. Then we come to oxygen the number of atoms here it's 2 for oxygen so 2 multiplied by 16 so here 12 times 1 that's 12 then 16 times 2 that's 32 so 12 plus uh, 32 that's 44 so this is 44 gram per mole so in chemistry studied the more concept and last time I shared with you some of the things on more concept and I told you that we're going to be using my book uh, for the examples and for the other explanations. So today we're going to proceed. We're going to look at the equation that is used when you've been given the mass, the molar mass, and the more of a substance. So the equation, and this is on page 12. And I think I'm going to resend the book in the group. So... The, f uh, the formula that you use when you have been given the mass, the molar mass, and the more of the substance is, you say N is equal to M over capital letter M. So you need to know each and every letter here. So we can say where N is equal to number of moles. So this is number of moles and we know that uh, the moles are measured in m o l then where m is equal to the mass of a substance so mass of the substance And this is measured in grams. Then M, that's molar mass. And this is gram per mole. Molar mass is measured in gram per mole. So this is the equation that you use when you have been given the mass, the molar mass, and the mole of the substance. So you just say uh, N is equal to a small letter M divided by the capital letter M. Where small letter M is the number of moles, then where small letter uh, where small letter N sorry is the number of moles, where small letter M is uh, the mass of the substance, and capital letter M that's the molar mass. Let us look at the first example. In this example, I'm going to take it from my book. And uh, the question from the example reads, how many moles are there in 0 uh, 0 0.35 gram of water? So how many moles are there in 0 0.35 gram of water? Let me just...
put another page here Yeah, so the question says how many moles are there in 0 0.35 gram of water so the first thing that we're going to do is to collect the data and from this data we know that we have been given mass so mass we have been given as 0 0.35 grams then uh, the molar mass uh, you need to calculate there that's water so water that's H2O and we know that the number of atoms of uh, hydrogen there is 2 so 2 multiplied by the mass number of hydrogen is 1 so 2 multiplied by 1 that's 2 then we also have oxygen the number of atoms of oxygen there is 1 multiplied by the mass number of oxygen there is yeah, 16 1 multiplied by 16 that's 16 so 2 plus 16 that's 18 so this means the molar mass of water that's 18 gram per mole. Then we are told to calculate the number of moles. So we don't know the number of moles. So we're going to say n uh, n is a uh, we don't know and that's question mark. So to find the number of moles we're going to say n is equals to small letter m divided by capital letter m n is equals to here the mass have been given as 0 0.35 divided by the molar mass we have found that's 18 so number of moles is equals to 0 0.35 divided by 18 that's 0 0.19 mole so 0 0.19 mole let us look at the second example so the second example reads The second example reads, find the number of moles in 0 0.5 gram of an oxygen atom. So you need to note there, they have said oxygen atom, not oxygen gas. There are two different kind of things. So two, two, we have been told oxygen atom. So for the oxygen atom, this is just O. And for the oxygen gas, Make sure you know this difference. If you don't know this difference, you'll be getting the answers wrong. For the oxygen gas, is written as H2. So it means for the oxygen gas, the number of atoms here, there are two. But for the oxygen atom, the number of atoms here is just one. So we're going to collect our data. We're going to say data. And we have been given mass. Mass have been given as 0 0.5 gram. Then the other thing that we have been uh, that we have not been given is the molar mass. We need to calculate the molar mass. And uh, since there is only one atom of oxygen, you just say one multiplied by sixteen, which is the mass number of oxygen, and that's sixteen gram per mole. Then we are told we are told to calculate the number of moles. That's question mark. So we're going to say n is equals to small letter m divided by capital letter m number of moles equals to the mass that's 0 0.5 divided by 16 so n is equal to so 0 0.5 divided by 16 that's 0 0.031 so 0 0.031 gram per mole let us look at another example Example 3 so example 3 for the example 3 it reads what is the mass of 0 0.01 more of 
hydrogen gas so even here they have not said hydrogen atom so hydrogen gas is h and the two so the first thing is to collect the data so here the number of moles we have been given as 0 0.001 more of uh, hydrogen of the hydrogen gas then to find the molar mass of hydrogen which is h2 you say the number of atoms here is 2 multiplied by its mass number that's 1 so this means it's 2 gram per mole then we are told to calculate the mass the mass we don't know so here we know that our formula is n is equals to mass divided by the molar mass and to calculate the value of mass you just cross multiply so mass is equals to number of moles multiplied by the molar mass so mass is equals to the number of moles have been given as 0 0.001 multiplied by the molar mass that's 2 so the mass is equals to 0 0.001 multiplied by 2 the answer is 0 0.002 so 0 0.002 2 grams let us look at question 4 so question 4 reads find the molar mass and name the element using the periodic table then a there i have mass is 2 gram and the number of moles is 0 0.05 mole so here i'm tra trying to calculate the molar mass so and after calcul calculating the molar mass i'm going to identify the element using the uh, periodic table so the first thing a here i'm going to collect my data so i'm told m mass is two grams so mass that's two grams then the other thing is that the number of moles that's 0 0.05 more than the molar mass i don't know so that's question mark so you say number of moles goes to mass divided by molar mass so over one here you close multiply you're going to have number of moles multiplied by the molar mass is equals to mass to calculate the value of molar mass divided by n here you also divide by n n and n will cancel so uh molar mass is equal to mass divided by number of moles so molar mass is equal to mass i know that that's two divided by the number of moles that's 0 0.05 so uh 2 divided by 0 0.05 that's 40 gram per mole 40 gram per mole so that's my uh my first answer i have found the molar mass but the th the other thing the question that is ask asking me to do is to name the element so using the molar mass that i've calculated i am going to go on the periodic table and if i go on the periodic table the element that has the mass number of 40 that's calcium so this means my answer my answer if i identify the element it will be calcium and calcium is written in this way capital letter c and the small letter a then you have a 40 here which represents the uh the mass number and a 20. so the element it's calcium then question b let me just put another page
Question B says if the mass is 5.211 gram and and the number of moles is 0 0.193 mole. So B I've been told that mass so I'm going to collect the data. So mass is equals to 5.211 gram. Then the number of more is equal to 0 0.193 more. I'm trying to calculate the molar mass. I don't know. So I'll say molar mass is equals to mass divided by number of moles. Molar mass is equals to mass I'm having 5.211 divided by number of moles. That's <coughs> 0 0.2. One nine three. So here the molar mass is equals to five point two one one divided by zero point one nine three. That's twenty seven gram per mole. So this is twenty seven gram per mole. So I've found the molar mass. The next thing I need to identify the element. So if I go on the periodic table, the element that has the mass number of twenty seven. It's the element that I'm going to choose. And if I look at the periodic table, the element that has the mass number of 27, that's aluminium. So I can say element, it's aluminium. And uh, aluminium is written in this way. There's a 27 here. There's a 13. Let us look uh, at the other thing which says calculating particles which is on page 13. So we are going to proceed and now we are going to look at on how you can calculate particles. And this is on page 13. So the formula that you use when calculating the number of particles you say x is equal to number of moles multiplied by uh, number of moles multiplied by the Avogadro's number, which is n a. So this is the formula that you use when cal calculating number of particles. So x represents the na uh, the number of particles, n represents uh, the number of moles, and n a represents the uh, Avogadro's number or the Avogadro's constant. So I'll say where x represents the number of particles so number of particles and this can be atoms ions or molecules and n that's the number of moles number of moles then Na that's the Avogadro's number or constant Avogadro's constant and this is given as 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 so that's the formula that you need to know this this is just a simple formula so you need to know this formula for you to calculate the number of particles let us look at the first example so example one it says determine the number of particles in two more of sodium chloride so in two more of uh, sodium chloride so the first thing is to collect the data so the number of moles have been given as two uh, two more then I know that the Avogadro's constant is 6.02 times 10 to the power 10 to the power 23 
then I'm trying to calculate x which is the number of particles so I'm going to say x is equals to number of moles multiplied by the Avogadro's constant so my number of particles is equals to number of moles there that's 2 multiplied by the Avogadro's constant that's 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 so the number of particles so if you multiply 2 multiplied by 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 you're going to have 1 1.204 times 10 to the power 24 particles so this is 1.204 times 10 to the power 24 particles so that's the answer. Let us look at the second example. So the second example, it says calculate 12.04 multiplied by 10 to the power 23 particles of hydrogen gas to more. So I'm, su I'm supposed to calculate the number of moles. So I'll say data. Here I know that the Avogadro's constant is 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. Then I also have also been given the number of particle, which is 12.04 times 10 to the power 23. Then the number of moles, I'm trying to calculate the number of moles. So the general formula, I know that number of particles is equals to number of moles multiplied by the Avogadro's number. So to calculate the number of moles here, I would divide by the Avogadro's number here. And here, the Avogadro's number. So this and this will cancel. So this means here of n is equal to um, the number of particles divided by the Avogadro's number of constant. So I'm going to say number of, of moles is equal to my x here, the number of particles have been given 12.04 times 10 to the power 23. So this is 12.04 times 10 to the power 23. So this is over the Avogadro's number that's 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 so if you do your calculations there the number of moles is equals to 2 more let us look at question 3 So question 3, it says how many particles of magnesium are contained in 2.4 gram of the substance? So the first thing is to collect the data. So here I'm trying to calculate the number of particles when I've been given the, uh, uh, the mass. And I've been given the mass of uh, magnesium as... 2.4 gram then what else I also know that the molar mass of magnesium that's 24 gram per mole then I'm trying to calculate uh, the number of particle I don't know I also don't know the number of uh, moles but the Avogadro's number, I know that that's 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. So the first thing that I'm going to do, since the formula that we use when calculating the number of particles re requires the number of moles. So the first thing is to calculate the number of moles. So number of moles is equals to mass divided by the molar mass. So number of moles is equals to mass, that's 
2.4 divide by the molar mass that's 24 so number of mole is equal to 2.4 divided by 24 that's 0.1 mole so 0.1 mole then I'll say x is equals to number of moles multiplied by the Avogadro's number the number of moles here is 0 0.1 multiplied by 6.0 uh, 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 then if you do your calculations there uh, x will be equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power 22 particles so that's the answer make sure you do question question 4 make sure yeah you go through question 4